combining the new generative fill with fusion. Today's video is sponsored by Homer Simpson. Add your clip in the timeline and export the first frame of it as a still image. In the new DaVinci version you can go to the file, export, and choose to export the still frame. Open that frame in the new Photoshop beta version. With the lasso tool, drag a rough shape around the area you want to replace, select the generative fill, and type in what you want to create. The results are not that mind-blowing and game-changer as every mediocre YouTube filmmaker is pretending. If you can get it for free then it's okay to play around, but nothing worth of spending your money. After few trials, once you get something that doesn't look completely fake, hide the background layer and export the mask layer with transparency. Import that mask still in DaVinci, place it on top of your clip and adjust the duration of it. Select both of your clips, right click, make them a new fusion clip and open the fusion page. Disconnect the masked clip from the merge node. Select your first clip and add a planar tracker node after. Make sure that you are in the first frame and hit the set button. Change the tracker to hybrid. Set the motion type to affine, draw a shape around the area that you want to track and hit the track to end. Once the tracker is done, select to create a planar transform. Now that you have this transform node, you can delete the planar tracker if you want. Select your masked clip, connect it to the planar transform node, and then to the merge as a foreground. I don't think this is really usable at the moment. Maybe in few years they will improve it, but at the moment it's just a fun gimmick for every virgin nerd grandmaster of cinematography out there. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, be a nice person and subscribe, it's free.